Now that the dogs are quiet, I can finally start my video. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Hit Pause, the channel dedicated to gaming and tech reviews and everything in between. My name is Marco, let's begin. So I've been seeing too many posts from new Switch owners regarding things that they can easily find on Google or search themselves online. So here's my obvious beginner's guide to the Nintendo Switch. First things first, before you play with that bad boy, is put a screen protector. The screen is made out of plastic, so it's not gonna break like glass, like your cell phones. So there's no need for a tempered glass on it because it's not really gonna protect it so much. This is built for kids, so you don't need to purchase expensive screen protectors for it. A plastic one is fine, so you don't scratch it when you place it on the official Nintendo dock. Number two, regardless, you're gonna do physical or digital, buy a micro SD card. Any micro SD card, it doesn't have to be the official Nintendo one, will work on your Nintendo Switch. From my experience, capacity that's at least 64 and up is already good. Unless you can buy digital games, you already have the money to buy that, then buy yourself an expensive SD card, at least 128, 200, or 256, and probably 400 when it does come out. Number three, for the ones in the Philippines, if you're having accessing the Nintendo eShop, it's because there's no eShop in the Philippines. So set a US account. You can do this through the computer or creating a new one on the Nintendo Switch. The best regions I've seen so far is getting one in the US, getting the one in Japan, UK, that mean three. We can check out savecoins.me to find out the cheapest region to buy a certain game digitally. It's an amazing website that can help you save money when buying a digital game. Check it out again at savecoins.me. So if you don't have a credit card to buy your games, don't worry, you can use your prepaid credit cards. The ones that are out like Paymaya and Globe. Jazz, is that Globe? Those prepaid credit cards do work just make sure you have sufficient amount in your account. If you're planning to play your Nintendo Switch on the go, it's very important to buy a case. It doesn't have to be an official Nintendo Switch case. You can go for third parties like this, as long as your Nintendo Switch is protected when you put it in your bag or purse. And speaking of cases, there's a lot of third party ones. It really depends on your style. If you're planning to play it on handheld mode and dock it right away, you can probably go for the Nyko Slim case. If you're gonna go for the rugged look that's very protected, I would recommend the Mamba case. If you wanna add splash of color and protection, go for the Skull Co case. And last but not the least, a lot of people probably don't use this because not everyone here is a child. You're probably an adult playing with the Nintendo Switch and this is the parental control. For me, it's really nice to set this up even if you don't have a kid because if your Nintendo Switch gets stolen, you have that pin there to protect it from being initialized or reformatted. I don't know why Nintendo Switch doesn't want to put a pin code when you open up the device so not everyone in the world can play your Nintendo Switch. Anyway, until the next video, post your comments and questions down below regarding the Nintendo Switch and I'll answer it and most likely the community will answer it for you. So do so and help each other out. Hopefully this video helped out all the newbies and beginners and the new Switch owners out there. Welcome to the family. Thank you guys for hitting pause. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I'll see you guys on the next video.